Hello bookworms, my name is Lindsay the Book Vlogger. Today I want to talk about the PC game Dying for Daylight, which is based on the Southern Vampire Mysteries by Charlene Harris. This game features a vampire named Dahlia who goes on a quest to find a sun potion, or rather the person who makes the sun potion. This is a problem solving arcade style game that you can download online for around $10, 20 if you want to download it plus get a replacement disc. The story, of course, is plot-driven, but not based on any specific book or short story. So if you read the books, this will be a whole new story for you. If you are a big video gamer, don't expect this to be as complicated, fast-paced, or as detailed as those games. Most of this is more of a still image style screen with subtle movements that you can click around. This game may not have real-world big-time effects, but the images are still very beautiful and going from scene to scene has a very easy flow. The best part about this game is the true blood feeling that it has. The whole time I was playing it, I kept seeing the characters in my mind and getting that urge to go watch the TV show. By the end of the game, all I wanted to do was read the book. The game does have the same light, creepy feeling that True Blood has without being quite as grotesque as the show. Dahlia's voiceover is well done and does provide some comedic relief throughout the game. The game is split up by levels that are called episodes. Each time you reach a new episode, you get to watch a cool graphic novel style cinematic followed by the really nifty announcer's voice saying, Episode 2, The Wizard in the Basement. During an interview with Bloomberg TV, Charlene Harris had this to say about the game. turned into a video game. Um, did, did they come up to you? Did Oberon come up to you or did you go up to them? Uh, they approached my agent uh, and my agent of course was open to, to getting into talks about that. Uh, Oberon is such a well-known company right? and we were very excited about the prospect of turning one of my favorite characters, uh, Dahlia Lindley Chivers, into uh, a, a video game and, well, excuse me, a, a casual game. And we've been really, really pleased about seeing the artwork they've done. Right. Oh, yeah, and I've seen that. It looks pretty incredible. It really does. Um, okay, so, however, do you want to then, I mean, are you doing this because, obviously, you want more and more readers to know all about your series, though? Um, do you expect eventually to make perhaps more money from that than from actually selling your books, or no? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I think that... All the exposure I get through other media uh, advertises the books uh, rather than overwhelms the books. Mm. I still expect my primary income to be from the book sales. Okay. Because this is a casual game, if you sit down and play this game nonstop, you can finish it in one day if you wanted to. And I did. The difficulty level on this game is medium to high. Most of the problems I was able to solve on my own or with the hint section on the game which really isn't a hint section, they just tell you what you need to do. One time I did have to go online to look up help, but overall the game gave enough challenge to be enjoyable without becoming frustrating. My biggest complaint is how short the game is. By episode 4, I was led to believe that I had reached the halfway point and still had 4 more levels to go. However, when I finished episode 4, the game was over. The story wasn't finished, not even close but I can't complete the journey or the plot until game two is released. This was a major letdown for me because it was unfinished. And the worst part is that at this point, there isn't a release date for the sequel. That being said, I'm very glad that I purchased this game. It was a lot of fun and it got me excited for True Blood again. Definitely worth the money, just be warned that the game ends after level four. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And until next time, happy reading.